There has been much debate about whether Nickelodeon has been copied by other studios, such as Disney and Cartoon Network, or if they just provided inspiration for very similar shows. Stick around until the end to see a major copycat project made by Disney that is pretty hard to deny. New to the things? Subscribe for our latest videos and click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Now here are 10 animated shows that copied Nickelodeon. Disney's Puppy Dog Pals versus Paw Patrol. Disney's Puppy Dog Pals seems to be awfully similar to Nickelodeon's Paw Patrol. But don't take our word for it. One fan who blogs about Disney and Nickelodeon shows goes by the name of Ray, has some pretty strong opinions about this. Ray said it feels as if a Disney Channel exec went to the Pixar studios, showed them Paw Patrol, and told them to make that. This critic even compared the theme song of Paw Patrol with the Puppy Dog Pals song, Going on a Mission. In both songs, the dogs slide down slides as they sing about going on a mission. The blogger went on to say that both shows feature rescue pups with techno whizzy collars and transforming pup houses. One key distinction between the two shows that the puppy blog critic pointed out is that on Puppy Dog Pals, the pups can only talk to each other. Their human caretaker can't understand what they're saying. He can only hear barks. On Paw Patrol, Alex and Ryder can understand their canine friends. It's hard to deny the similarities. And since Disney's Puppy Dog Pals aired four years after Nickelodeon's Paw Patrol, it's definitely possible that Disney Channel used this Nickelodeon show as inspiration. My Life as a Teenage Robot and Robot Boy My Life as a Teenage Robot made its debut on Nickelodeon in 2003. It's a story about a butt-kicking battle robot named Ginny, who has amazing superpowers and a tender teenage heart. She fights aliens and bad guys to protect the planet. But what she really wants is to live like a normal girl. She wants to skate at the skate park and go to high school. Unfortunately, being a super-powered robot gets in the way of her fun. Cartoon Network Europe must have really liked this idea because in 2005, they aired a show called Robot Boy. It's a story of a butt-kicking battle robot who has amazing superpowers but really wants to live like a normal boy. In the trivia section on IMDb, it says the idea of Robot Boy came from one of the creator's sons who told him he wished he had a fighting robot so it could protect him from bullies at school. But there's no denying the similarities between the two shows. So what do you think? Do you think it's a coincidence that resulted from schoolyard bullies? Or did Cartoon Network Europe take a formula that they knew was working in the States and turn it into a show for our friends abroad? You be the judge. Cow and Chicken and Ren and Stimpy Nickelodeon's Ren and Stimpy originally aired in 1991. It's an animated show that, according to the IMDb summary, focuses on the gross misadventures of a hyper Chihuahua and a stupid cat. Cartoon Network's Cow and Chicken was released in 1997 and is a show that, according to the IMDb summary, focuses on the misadventures of two unlikely yet somehow biological siblings. To call Cartoon Network a bunch of copycats would be immature and inappropriate. But then again, both of these shows are immature and inappropriate. Variety was much more adult about it. When they said that Cow and Chicken's tone and animation style was akin to Ren and Stimpy, Yep, what they said. Other fans agreed. In one fan forum, user Darkwing EXE said Cow and Chicken was Cartoon Network's way of competing with Ren and Stimpy. Another fan that goes by Admiral Zephyr believes that even the animation style of Cow and Chicken was very reminiscent of Ren and Stimpy's. This has been a hot topic in the fandom world. User Judy in Disguise said that Ren and Stimpy was inspired goofiness and that Cow and Chicken was a poor imitation. What do you guys think? Inspired or a poor imitation. Coconut Fred's Fruit Salad Island and SpongeBob SquarePants. While SpongeBob lives in a pineapple under the sea, Coconut Fred's features animated tropical fruit characters who live on an island. Both shows definitely have that tropical vibe. Like SpongeBob, the main character, Coconut Fred, is an energetic, big-hearted, naive, and optimistic character in pursuit of his dreams. While SpongeBob dreams of being the manager of the Krusty Krab, Coconut Fred has various dreams like being a master at the drums, being a lifeguard, and saving the island from an erupting volcano. SpongeBob is a highly absorbent sponge. Coconut Fred has sweet coconut milk sloshing around inside his head. One major difference is anything Coconut Fred can think up materializes on the island. But you can't deny the similarities in these two shows. Even the animation and music 
are similar to SpongeBob SquarePants, but fans weren't fooled by this inferior knockoff. Coconut Fred's Fruit Salad Island was originally scheduled for 13 episodes in the first season, but it was canceled early after some negative feedback and poor reception. Fans saw right through this poor imitation. It just goes to show that kitchen sponges and zany sea creatures are more compelling than talking fruit. Looks like Nickelodeon got it right the first time. Team Umizoomi and Peg and Cat Team Umizoomi originally aired on Nick Jr. in 2010. It's an animated show involving preschool math concepts. Fans follow six-year-old Millie, her eight-year-old brother Gio, and their friendly robot named Bot. These mighty math superheroes introduce young viewers to the concepts of counting, measurement, shapes, and patterns. They use their mighty math powers to help their friends in Umi City. Seems like a pretty fun and educational show. It's no wonder a similar show popped up on PBS Kids called Peg and Cat. In this animated series, Peg and her pal and sidekick Cat encounter unexpected challenges that require them to use preschool math and problem-solving skills. Team Umizoomi is computer animated that gives it a glossy feel, whereas Peg and Cat has hand-painted backgrounds and hand-drawn characters. If you look closely, you'll see that everything is drawn on graph paper, which gives the show a very unique feel. Team Umizoomi uses real kids as characters in their episodes, which is something Peg and Cat did differently. Music is very important to the creators of Peg and Cat too. While the makers of Peg and Cat may have used Team Umizoomi for inspiration, they ended up with a show that has its own distinct, whimsical style. And we can't be mad at that. The Loud House and Too Loud. This comparison has been the source of a heated debate in the fanverse. One fan dared to ask the question, is Too Loud a ripoff of The Loud House? Cue the explosive comments. Wow, people sure do get passionate about The Loud House. In this video, Vel Ski Bum 94 presented the facts and asked his followers what they thought. He said that the names of the shows are similar. Both have the word loud in the title and both feature a big-headed, white-haired boy. IMDb describes Too Loud as a show about two big-headed, loudmouth kids who get into hijinks while working at the library. According to IMDb, the show came out in 2017, which is a year after The Loud House first aired. The Loud House is a show about Lincoln Loud, an 11-year-old boy who lives with 10 sisters, who tries to find new ways to survive his huge family. While the plot line is different, if you hold the pictures of the main characters side by side, it seems that DreamWorks TV took some inspiration from Lincoln Loud. So what do fans think? A couple of the fans agreed with Valsky Bum 94 that Too Loud was a ripoff of The Loud House, but most fans said they didn't think it was. Feel free to discuss this controversial topic in the comments below. The Fairly Odd Parents and Pixel Pinky. The Fairly Odd Parents is a Nickelodeon show that features Timmy Turner, a 10-year-old boy who has been picked on a lot by his babysitter. He summons his fairy godparents who have the power to grant his wishes. Some of his wishes are helpful, but others cause a pretty big mess. Timmy's godparents must remain hidden from his parents during their adventures. The series started in 2001 and has a ton of fans. And why not? The concept is fun and interesting. That's probably why in 2009, Blue Rocket Productions created an animated Australian-British-Canadian TV show with the same concept. Meet Pixel Pinky. She's a genie who can make a little girl named Nina's wishes come true. Nina and her friend Annie have to keep Pixel Pinky hidden away from others. Gee, that sounds awfully familiar. A genie or fairy godparents who grants wishes for a kid and must remain hidden? That's pretty similar, don't you think? One big difference is the ratings. While Fairly Odd Parents is rated 7.2 out of 10 on IMDb, Pixel Pinky rated as an unfortunate 1.9 out of 10. Maybe the Australian British Canadian TV viewers weren't ready for wish granting genies, or they just don't like copycats. Rocco's Modern Life and The Amazing World of Gumball. Rocco's Modern Life and The Amazing World of Gumball are loved by fans for their wacky, oddball, grotesquely surreal characters. The characters are prone to exaggerated expressions and find themselves in all kinds of crazy hijinks episode after episode. Rocco's Modern Life is an old school Nickelodeon show that aired back in 1993. It still has a pretty major fan following. It features a wallaby named Rocco, his dog Spunky, 
and his dim-witted pal, Heifer, as they deal with the messy challenges of modern life. The Amazing World of Gumball is a Cartoon Network show that got its start in 2011. It follows a cat named Gumball and a goldfish with legs named Darwin Watterson as they deal with the messy challenges of everyday life. Both shows have an all-inclusive feel with the characters that have distorted features and strange qualities. We're not the only ones who put these two shows together. A fan named Brandon from the Bahamas drew this awesome fan art with the caption saying his art was about two great shows coming together as one. The artist's friends agreed, commenting that they wish this would happen for real and that nothing can beat Rocco's and Gumball's awesomeness. Do you agree with these hardcore fans? Rocket Power and Wild Grinders The makers of the Rugrats created a fast-paced show in 1999 called Rocket Power. According to Nick.com, Rocket Power is the story of four friends who are addicted to action and extreme sports. Otto Rocket and his sister Reggie and their pals, Twister and Sam, excel at just about every aggressive sport you can imagine. Extreme sports, extreme fun, and extreme friends. That's Rocket Power. Then, in 2012, Nickelodeon's sister company, Nicktoons, came out with a show that was created by and loosely based on professional skateboarder Rob Deerdeck. The show was called Wild Grinders. It's an animated series featuring a group of skateboarding kids led by Lil Rob. Rob's friends include his dog, Meaty, his inventor friend, Goggles, and his other pals known as the Wild Grinders. So a show about a group of skateboarding kids on one show and a group of skateboarding kids on another show. But you know, if you make a copy of something, it's just not as sharp as the original. That might be the case here. Rocket Power stayed on the air for five years and got a 6.9 out of 10 rating on IMDb, while Wild Grinders only survived for three years and got a measly 1.9 out of 10 rating. The Penguins of Madagascar and The Wild Okay, technically The Penguins of Madagascar is a Nickelodeon spin-off of the DreamWorks film Madagascar. But here's something interesting. After Madagascar came out, Disney produced something very similar called The Wild. Wild. To be fair, both Madagascar and The Wild are films, but the resemblance is too big to ignore. Let's start with the plots. One story is about zoo animals escaping and going on a wild adventure to journey back to their homeland. Wait, what? Fans were quick to point out the similarities in the two films. One fan said that if you saw the previews and thought this movie would be an inferior ripoff of Madagascar, well, you'd be right. Another outraged fan said, this is a clone of the worst kind. Divert-1 thinks that if any other company dared such a shameful plagiarism, it would be flooded in legal actions. So what do you think? Did the wild flat out copy Madagascar? Or was it a strange coincidence? Which animated shows do you think copied Nickelodeon? Leave your answer in the comments. That's all for our video. Thanks for watching the things. See you next time.